Hello, my name is Nashara Mutim. Today I'm presenting my research finding entitled A Study on the Relationship Between Extrinsic Rewards and Job Performance. Where this study undertaken at District Office of Nabon Sabah. This study under supervision of my supervisor, Sir Muhammad Omar, and co supervisor, Wan Siti Hafiza Ambi. Without further delay, I will start my presentation with the research objective. The objective of this research is to determine the relationship between extrinsic rewards and job performance among the sample staff of district office. The questions of this research focus on what was the relationship between extrinsic rewards and job performance, and there is two parties involved for the significance of the study, which is the district office and the support staff, where the support staff can use this study as platform to give their opinion about the extrinsic rewards. Therefore, the district office can use the research result of this study to improve their reward system, while the limitation of this study during collecting data is the number of the question A that had been distributed and answered was limited due to the company policies, number of the support staff, and the pandemic COVID-19. Extrinsic rewards is a reward employee receive in intangible form or financial form. And this study used Victor Room expectancy theory where he cited that in order for employee to receive desired rewards, they need to show high level of performance. While my conceptual framework was adapted from Munir. In this study, I only take four of extrinsic rewards from the original, which is payment, promotion, benefit, bonuses, and the dependent variable is job performance. In this study, I use correlation research design and there is three departments that are used as my sampling frame and population, which is the general administrative and financial development and magistrate department. For the sampling technique, I use the census sampling technique and the sample size of this research was based on the populations of these three departments and based on Kirchie Morgan tables. In this study, I also use question A as my data collections where they are given three weeks to answer the question A. And the instrument of this research, I use validity instrument where the question A was validated by Mr. Abang Sulaiman, the human resource management lecturer. And I also use reliability instrument where before distributing the question A, I distribute 30 set of question A to see if the question A reliable with the titles or not. While the plan for data analysis is based on the research objective, constructor, concept, research question, scale, and statistics. Next, for the rate of return survey from the table, it shows that there is 115 set of question A had been distributed and there is only 82 question A had been returned and the respond rate is 87%. While the demographic profile of the respondent, I summarized it into the category that had answered the most. For age, most of the respondent was aged from 31 to 40 years old. For gender, most of the respondent was male and the marital status was married. For the respondent education level, most of them was from SPM or using certificate. Lastly, most of the respondent race was more. For normality test result, it based on the skinness and courtesies of each variable according to Kumar, if the value range was from negative 2 to positive 2, it is acceptable. In this case, it shows that payment, promotion, and bonuses got the negative value, which means the skewed more to the left, while job performance and benefit got positive value, which indicates that the skewed more to the right. For the courtesies, all variable was positive, which means the variable is heavy tail. For descriptive statistic, it shows only payment got the mean value and standard deviations value gap is far. The table also shows that compound alpha for each variable was more than 0.6. This indicates that instruments used is considered reliable. Correlation result, it shows that all of the variable hypothesis is accepted because based on the correlation P and R value of each variable show it is significant and there is positive relationship between variable and job performance. Also, from the correlation result, it shows that promotion and bonuses have weak significant strength and payments show moderate significant strength, while benefits show strong significant strength. Although both promotion and bonuses show weak effect on job performance, but if the support staff given opportunity to be promoted and receive high bonuses, they're able to increase the job performance, which this result in line with past study result and the hypothesis of these two variables is accepted. 
therefore, for the last part, which is recommendation, hereby I recommend the future researcher to distribute their questionnaire during semester break. Therefore, they will only need to focus on writing the report. Second is to investigate more variable of extrinsic reward to see different results. That's all for me. Thank you.